So I've made a couple videos about the Apple Vision Pro being used in the painting world for painting estimates. And some common questions I've gotten are how accurate is the measurement tools that I used in the previous video. So I'll link the video down below if you wanna see me estimate the exterior of a house. But in this video, I want to dive into the accuracy of the measuring tools that are using LiDAR to measure distances. So I'm gonna put this headset on and we're gonna go out and measure along a ruler and a measuring tape and see how accurate the different environments are. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean Automation. We have tools specifically for painters to free you up to do what you love. So we have the Boolean review system to put your reputation management on autopilot. And we also have custom automation implementation and consulting to help automate every single part of your painting business. So that's what our YouTube channel is about. That's what we do at Boolean. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the links down below, but let's get into this topic. All right, so I got my headset on and I am going to switch and start screen recording here so you can see what I see. And we're gonna go out into the my shop and measure along a measuring tape to see how accurate the LiDAR measurement is compared to reality. All right, so now you guys can see I am in my headset. I'm out here in our little party garage and I am going to open up the measuring tool that I used in a previous video called Tape Measure. And we're going to say, not now, start. All right, so I have a measuring tape that I just laid out here in our garage. I'm gonna mark that. And let's go to the, right there. That is eight feet. I mean, that's, Let's go ahead and undo what I just did there. So that's seven feet, 11 inches. And you can see my point is right at the end there. I mean, honestly, that's, I'm like, that's pretty impressive. So eight feet on the ruler, seven feet, 11 inches. Let's do this again and go a little bit longer distance. So let's see, just, let's say I'm not standing up close to the um, measuring tape, but if I go from a distance, so from there, and we're gonna go all the way to the end of this. That's saying 15 feet, 11 inches and 16 feet. That's insane. That is nuts. 15 feet, 11 inches. I will round up and take that. That is very, very impressive. Let's do some uh, non-floor measurements. So let's go on the cabinet here. We're gonna go from here. Whoops, let's undo that. So almost in the corner, I'm just gonna go at an angle like this. So not quite perfect, you can see my marks there. But let's take this measuring tape and see how we did, six feet, seven inches. So I hold it down to the and by the way, this is nuts. This is absolutely crazy. It literally is locked. Like, doesn't matter where I go, how I move and look at it, it's like dead, dead on. So let's see what this says from the ruler to here. We are at, doing this measurement to there. That is 80 inches, maybe 81, and that is, Six feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six feet, eight inches. I mean, that's incredible. Um, let's do one other one. Let's do the door frame here. So we're gonna go from here, across, 32 and a half inches, and survey says, wow. That's, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that is very, very accurate. And the thing that I just think is crazy is that all of these points, like, look at this, they're just, they're all locked. I can walk, like, I'm just curious, what's gonna happen when I walk outside here? Let's say I go out, it's dark out right now, but I go back and look, it's giving me a low light warning. But look at that, the, the lines are still, if I come back inside, still locked dead dead on where I left them. That is absolutely nuts. I don't know what you guys think, but this is this exceeds my expectations on accuracy. 
Um, but that's fantastic. Um, what do you guys think? I don't know. This is this has blown my mind. I'm going to jump back into my office here. We're going to do one more measurement here from the corner of my computer across. So 33. Let's see how we did. Mm, so maybe a little discrepancy here. Uh, I guess it's hard to know, is that point locked on my computer or not? Who knows? But yeah, we're at like 31. So maybe up close, not as accurate. But if you're measuring, um, let's get this, uh, these lines away. If you're measuring a painting job, you know, how often are you going to be up uh, looking at 30 inches? When we were doing feet, it was very, very accurate. So, um, all right, I'm going to take this off. So, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's pretty impressive in my opinion. I'm blown away. That's my review. Uh, we can, I'll do the actual percentages and throw it in here, but from all of those different things, it's like 99% on the dot of metrics. And to think that, again, this is a generation, a first generation product. It's gonna get better over time. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was valuable. Let me know, what did you like? What did you not like? Leave in the comments, are there any other tools or applications that you'd like me to review with the Apple Vision Pro? that you're curious about because this is a mind-blowing piece of technology and I'm going to keep making content. I'm curious what you'd like to see. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video. I'm going to what I want to say.